This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, we have some very exciting news and an exciting announcement to make. The Mall of Africa, South Africa's largest shopping mall ever, built in one single phase. It opens its doors to the public this evening. That's the 28th of April. So perfectly situated between Johannesburg and Pretoria. It's a shopping experience like none other. So make sure you get to witness the grand opening of the brand new Woolworth store. Doors open at 6 p.m. tonight and the first 100 Double your rewards card holders in the queue waiting for the Willys doors to open will receive a 1,000 Rand gift card. Yes, that's 1,000 Rand to spend in the new Woolworth store. That's for tonight only. Remember that only the first 100 W rewards card holders waiting in the queue at the entrance to the store qualify. If you happen to be inside the store, then you won't receive the voucher. So T's and C's do apply. Make sure you share in the good news. That is, if you are amongst the first 100 W reward cards holders waiting in front of the door, you can still come through to the Woolworths Mall of Africa to join in the party and also the shopping experience. And that is happening from 6 p.m. tonight. Exciting stuff. But we're not just focusing on planning your evening. We're still planning your morning because this is your feel-good breakfast show. Buta, what do Ah, lekker dinge, lekker dinge. You know what? We can feel that the morning temperatures is getting colder, winter just around the corner. But you know what? One thing that you can be excited about is a selection of brand new crops, like oranges. Yes. That's exactly Absolutely. what we're going to be using in our recipe this morning with Zola, yes. which is a beautiful zesty orange citrus cake. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> let's do this. Okay, let's. Okay. okay. So we're going to make this, the, the citrus sponge first. Okay, okay cool. So like you said, um, the citrus stays in season through um, yeah. winter. So it's nice to add it to baking and etc. So we've got some butter that you're going to cream with some salati caster snow. Which one do I use? Whichever implement tickles your fancy. The wooden spoon. The wooden spoon, nice okay. and traditional. So you cream that together. And then to make our sponge tender, we add to it um, either some yogurt or you could use buttermilk or something oh, like that. Okay. It just makes the, the, the end yeah. Um, sponge really soft and really delicious. And our citrus note for this is going to be um, zested lemon and zested oranges. Okay. And our oranges look very much like our lemons today. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. And then because to that, it's not fully winter yet. No. That's why. <laughs> that too. Then you're going to add your eggs one at a time. Okay. As you mix. There we go. But Ewan's got muscle, so we'll just add it all <laughs> we'll at once. Just all at once, okay. And then our dry ingredients are just some flour, some cake flour, and some baking powder just as a raising agent. All right. So you mix those together. Then we're going to mix uh, the yogurt in, or you could use sour cream, or you could use buttermilk, whatever. Really? I would go or, for buttermilk. Or mas. Hey? Amasi is nice. Amasi yeah, as and well. And it's, it's cheaper as well. Do you get an orange flavored one? No, you don't. I wouldn't know. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> and then our, our dry ingredients go in, mix it all together, put it into um, two cake, cake tins. Okay. Yeah, sandwich cake tins, about 20 or 22 centimeter. Yes. Bake it 180 degrees. Um, they'll bake for about 30 to, to 35 minutes. Test it with a skewer. It so comes, it comes out, out clean, dry. take it out of the tin, let it cool. Then we cut the sponges in half, just okay. like this, because we're going to make a four-layer cake. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Next well, there level we go. this. Okay. So this is what you want at That's the end. That's what it is. Okay, nice so now use mind. your muscles for this for me. All right. So now we're going to, inside, we're going to make a cream cheese frosting, but that's also citrus flavor. Okay. So citrus on citrus on citrus. Which I like, which is which why I it's a citrus too. cake. Yeah, so we've got some cream cheese. Make sure it's at room temperature. And then okay. we add some softened butter. All right. Okay, got it. <laughs> uh, make sure the cream cheese is at room temperature, otherwise you can get lumps in your yes. your frosting. And then again, we go with the um, citrus zest, so that's zest. lemon and oranges. And you might think, oh, you're calling it a citrus cake, but there's so little citrus in it. Yeah. The the flavor in the zest and it's, the oils yeah. are all in the zest, so the flavor, yeah. it, it packs a real flavor punch. Okay. And then all you do is um, add some salati um, cast icing snow, sorry, to that. Okay. And that'll form your icing. So just add a little at a time. You can sift yeah. it if you don't have a, a machine such as you in. Okay. <laughs> um, to make it easier for yourself. And then once you've cut, once your cakes have cooled and you've cut them in half, you can frost one. Okay. And then always make sure that the the bottom is the flattest part, yes. so that you put you put that on top. So yours will be two layers. Yes. Okay. So then you frost all in between oh, the layers and that. all around the cake. And then you want to put it into the fridge. Let it set, and then you can put fondant on top. All right. Well, I tell you what. You know what? If you want to get your hands on the recipe to our citrus cake this morning, looks delicious and it looks beautiful as well. SMS the keyword salati to 33728. That's salati to 33728. It will send you everything you need to know. But if you missed any of these steps that we took to create our beautiful masterpiece of a citrus cake this morning, here you go again. For the cake, cream butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Mix in eggs, yogurt and zest. Mix flour and baking powder, then mix into the wet ingredients. Spoon into cake tins and bake for 45 minutes. For the frosting, beat cream cheese, butter and zest until smooth. 
Add icing sugar and beat until combined. Sandwich the cooled cakes with the frosting. Spread the remaining frosting all over the cakes to cover. Place into the fridge to firm up. Roll out the fondant into a circle, then cover the cake completely. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMS cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. All right, there we go. That keyword salati to three three seven two eight, and before you know it, you'll have a beautiful creation, just like the, or just, maybe almost like yeah. that. So, um, <laughs> what's on trend right now is to do ombre cake. So, what I've done is take some powdered um, color, yeah. and I've gone orange to yellow. This is that. Um, Zoe was saying it looks very Africa burn esque. So I was like, okay, yeah. since we can't be there, why not decorate the we'll cake? Just like and that. Me, exactly. I'll have you know that this took pretty pretty much like about half an hour for yeah. you to do. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, she's that amazing. Painting. Salati to 33728. <laughs> yes, Miss that. Always good, always sweet, beautifully flavorful Salati sugars add the perfect touch to your day. Salati, inspired by nature.